All right, we got most of the gang here, and we're going to do a long overdue mail call. This one that the little man's got in his lap, I've had more than a year. That came from Scott Stowbolt 50 when he sent little Mrs. Stereo. Somebody forgot about it. And I forgot it was in the package till I started looking at the stereo. So go ahead and commence to open it. Took the freedom of cutting them before we started. Liberty, you took the liberty. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, what is this? Oh, me. Yo, watch out for that. What, let's see what it is. That's a little lab. I had one of those when I was a kid. It's electronics lab. You can do little different electronics projects. Yeah. Comes with a manual. And with switches and resistors. All sorts of He's stuff. He's gonna start you off early. Maybe you can build your own radio. He wants to learn how to solder. I didn't get a chance to show him that. We can still do it tonight, buddy. Okay. If you want. Yeah. Alright, moving on to the next one. That's Thank pretty you. cool. Thank you, Scott. Thanks, Stubble. Plate, plate. And these we've gotten fairly recently. Again, Scott got a few guys together and got with Scott from Stobolt 50 and some guys sent some stuff for the little man here. I think it's some tools to add to his tool collection. <laughs> Oh, it's the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Always read it backwards to forwards. Oh, wow. Start with the PS. <laughs> we can read the letter later. Yeah. All right, what's this? Mom, you'll pre-read it, and if we can read it, she'll read it. What you got there, bud? You're holding the box in. More stickers. Oh, that came from TXS Viking. I think Scott told me he sent it to him, and then Scott sent it to me. That guy is a good welder. A very so good it welder. Good. It might be welding here. Hey. That's a really cool sticker. You were right the first time. There you go. Oh, check it out. Oh, wow. Forget what these things are called. That is a dial caliper. A, a brown and dial. sharp. It's a very nice one. Very nice one. Yeah. Man, that's pretty cool, bud. You can do some fine measuring with that thing. If you keep it dry, lightly oiled, and take care not to drop it, it will give you a lifetime of good readings. It says, we're proud of you for helping your parents out in the garage. Hope these tools will help you to continue to lend a helping hand. Happy wrenching from your pal Stovolt 50 and Texas Viking and a Chili's Rising. He sent you some stuff directly. There's a card. Or we'll read it. Pass that off to Mama. More packing material. Hey, that's hey, a great present. present. Hey, you got your own meter. <laughs> I was showing you a little bit about that today, wasn't I? Yeah. Yours ain't working very well. <laughs> <laughs> it ought to. It's a fluke. He's pretty old. He included oh. a sticker. Open air garage. That's a grand wagon here. Says, hello, Mr. Heavy Chevy. Add these tools to your toolbox. I know you will put them to good use. Stan. Well, thank you. That's what I needed. What is it? My screwdrivers. All right. Wow, you did quite the collection of stuff, aren't you? All right. Now for the bull wrap stuff. There's more? That's wrapped up pretty good. That must be a, a good Careful. thing. 
Oh wow. You can pop bubbles later. <laughs> hey, that's a nice little socket set. All these little switch thingies. Keeps them in there. How cool is that? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Don't do like I did when I was little with those things. <laughs> Dad might not be happy. <laughs> yeah, she was throwing them out in the grass, watching the sun glint off the shiny sockets. <laughs> and he made me pick them all back up too. Yeah, let's look at that. Look, now you have a house. <laughs> and that is from Cutworm. We all know Cutworm. It's nice and long, like a worm. Yeah. <laughs> We went and saw a cutworm in Arkansas about a year ago. Yeah, we were just talking about that the other day. We went and got the Crosley, which I honestly I haven't done too much with. But. Whoa, that's a he drove it out thing. from under the carport a few times. I bet you that's a torque wrench. Well, yeah, it says torque wrench. How cool is that? Your first torque wrench. I had to use one of those one time on my truck. Got some good weight to it. Yeah, that's how you can tell it's a good one. Yeah, that stuff's from birds. Hey, <laughs> those are the just dis destructions. You need those. That's a from birds. <laughs> Thanks after his father. All right, that's all for now. Thanks, guys. We really appreciate everything you send us. We'll get down his little toolbox here in a minute. Keep it stashed way up there. Craftsman. So it don't get lost. Hey. <laughs> but it makes it hard for him to get to. So we might have to review that situation. Yeah, we've got a clear place so he can get to his toolbox. Well, well. I don't know where that would be. All right, thanks y'all. Thank you. Thank you, Stove Bolt, Texas Thank Viking, you. Cutworm, and everybody. What you doing, pal? Organizing my stuff from thank you. What? <laughs> Did he really just say that? <laughs> Boy. It is pretty organized, ain't it? Well, mine's organized. Minds think alike, right? It's a pretty sweet hammer. Did I give that to you? I don't know. It seems like I've used a green. I have to put your thinking cap on. Here's what you do. You just stack these up long ways in the back there. All right. Better have a couple knives in your toolbox, hadn't you? Better check out that lab thing now. He's already been reading the manual. 